Jeffrey Tubin, Republican strategist Anna Navarro, and Republican media consultant and strategist Brad Todd. All right, Jeff, how serious are, just remind people, how serious were these alleged crimes? And the fact now that there is no accountability, there will be no accountability for them, how big of a deal is that? The, if he had been convicted, let's say, these would have been mandatory long prison sentences. Under the federal sentencing guidelines, if he had been convicted in the January 6th case and in the Mar-a-Lago classified documents case, there would have been, you know, very long prison terms associated with that. The, the magnitude of Trump's victory here is so enormous. I mean, and, and remember, this goes back to the Mueller investigation. He has beaten all of these cases. Obviously, the congressman, we are going to debate um, for generations um, whether this was a good thing or a bad thing. But as a factual thing, the, the degree of his victory is really extraordinary. And do you agree with Dan or Congressman Goldman right there that, that Trump will try to take retribution? Absolutely. You know, one of the things, you know, it's like when Donald Trump said, uh, I'm going to appoint Supreme Court justices who are going to overturn Roe v. Wade. People said, oh, no, that's just him talking. That's bluster. No, this is what he's going to do. He feels more passionately about this than he does about tariffs. And I think, you know, there is going to be an investigation. Based on what I know of criminal law, there is no basis for an investigation. There will not be charges as a result. But could, can he um, issue grand jury subpoenas? Can he force people to hire lawyers? Can he get press attention to attacking these people? Absolutely. So, Anna Navarro, as our resident expert on all officials from Florida joining the administration, <laughs> no, you know Pam Bondi. I do. Who Trump says he wants to be attorney general. Mm -hmm. Do you think, how high do you think this is on her to-do list right now, prosecuting people? I don't know. I have Listen, I, I know Pam Bondi fairly well. Uh, we spent a lot of time together when she was attorney general of Florida. It's been a minute. And people have changed. Donald Trump has changed a lot of people, certainly. Uh, when she was attorney general of Florida, first she was, you know, she was a prosecutor for decades. Yeah. And when she was attorney general of Florida, she focused on issues, on issues like the opioid crisis, on issues like fighting Medicare fraud, on issues like consumer protection. I hope that the same Pam Bondi shows up at DOJ and pushes back on Trump. I have no doubt that Trump is going to try to seek retribution. He told us that. When Donald Trump says something, I take him at his word. When he says that he's going to seek revenge and retribution, I take him at his word. The congressman was saying people didn't elect him for that. People didn't vote for them. Listen, the people that he's naming to his cabinet have pretty much been around him the entire time. The, the things that he is doing, whether it's tariffs, whether it's immigration, whether it's retribution, he has been saying he will do. Now, you know, I, I would say to you that this is all the result of the election. The American electorate, those who voted for Donald Trump and made him president-elect, pardoned Donald Trump in the process. And I also think we need to take a look at how long it took Merrick Garland to appoint Jack Smith, right? It took him, what, almost two years to, uh, to, to get this done. But for that, it could have been a very this, different result today. This case could have gone to trial um, if this case had been brought promptly. The delay in naming Jack Smith at all and in the whole investigation at the higher level um, is something that you know, is, is, is going to be an important legacy of yes. this administration. Well, Congressman Goldman said the same thing. It's critical Absolutely. in that way of both Absolutely. Smith and Garland. Brad, I know you've been waiting patiently there. <laughs> um, Congressman Goldman said that he thinks Donald Trump was elected to, to lower prices, not for retribution and revenge. Well, well you know, I think that 62 percent of the American public thought these charges were politically motivated. Now, that includes a lot of people who voted for Kamala Harris. And the Department of Justice has long since already been weaponized in going after political enemies. You had the Richmond Field Office saying that people who are conservative Catholics should be considered potential terrorists. You had people, the Merrick Garland himself authored a memo that said that parents who go to school boards, conservative parents, to complain, they might should be treated as domestic terrorists. I mean, this Justice Department is in ill repute in the United States right now, and it, they earned it. And so I would hope that Pam Bondi goes in and restores the confidence of the American public in the Department of Justice. That may be require a little investigation, but it won't be political retribution. It'll be in the public interest. Well, we'll see 
We'll see what happens and we'll see what we should call it when it takes place. Stick around.